begin writing a code so let's open at mail studio 6.1 and then go to file new project and then under C and C++ choose GCC C executable project and um, if you are happy with your location for me the desktop is fine and give it the name of your project that is button test and then hit on ok so then choose your family of microcontroller for me it's at mega32a so let's find it here so here it is and hit on ok as we have got this uh, workplace to write the code for us uh, for me I hit this comment so I delete this comments and uh, yeah, let's delete this first and then start to write your software application for adding switch uh, to add a switch first we have to understand what exactly we wanted to do in this project uh, first in, in first project we have um, blinked an LED uh, on pin number one of at mega 32 a so we keep the LED on pin number one of microcontroller we just simply add a button to button switch to pin number two of the microcontroller so that's the pb1 pin of your microcontroller so keep in mind so let's start with writing code we need to add include include and we have to add utility and uh, delay function for it so once we're done with this uh, let's come to the main routine of your code and uh, here it's the all game starts so we know that we have our LED on the port B so we have to give the port B pin number 1 as in pin number 1 yeah that is the PB0 pin of your microcontroller as an output and then take the DRB in P1. So basically what we did is we assigned this data direction register for pin number 1 um, as an output and then for pin number 2 we assigned this as an input for switch. As we know that LED is an output and uh, button since we give input through the buttons we assign this as an input and then take a 4b and then b1 for our switch and that's all it's done uh, as we're ready with writing this uh, i mean configuring this data direction register we have to write uh, the the main i mean our thoughts to make it work and in the while loop that's a never ending loop we have to uh, write our thoughts that we wanted to do with microcontroller so what we want to do first is we want to toggle the LED so our LED is connected on port B so just go just port B and then XR and then in B zero as our LED is on pin 1 that is PB0 so we toggle this LED um, on the to the microcontroller and we have to control this uh, toggling of LED through the switch so what we can do is we write a statement I mean we add a loop that is the if and we check the status of our button switch so if bit is clear and then in this function bit is clear we have to pass two parameters so first one is pin that is p and pin number one so then add the block of code in the curly braces so it's with the position and give it the delay for 100 milliseconds which is a quite a small and then else if button is not pressed if button is pressed then add another delay which is a thousand milliseconds so that's all it's done we toggle this LED so in never ending loop this 
LED is toggling for us and we check the status of our switch when the switch goes high it blinks with uh, one seconds and if we uh, release our button then it blinks with the 100 milliseconds delay so this is all it's done once you done with writing the codes you are ready to build this application so go to build and hit on build button test and just look on your output and uh, if you look at the summary uh, you get the build is done one succeed and zero fail and zero skipped so if you look at the report of your build you will find that you have the hex file and you have dot elf file uh, has been ready to program your at mega 32 hf in your project directory so it's all done now let's go to extreme burner so double click on extreme burner and open this application and if you get the sparks i think as i have explained in my previous video it's fine if you click on ok so let's hit on ok make sure that you have your microcontroller at mega 32 and setting which is isp and then go to file go to file and open flash and browse the destination of your project directory as we know that we have uh, this project is on a desktop so go to your folder button test in debug you will find this x file so select your hex button test test and then click on ok so once you hit on ok you will find that the content of your flash will be changed so hit on ok so as you have seen i hope um, that you will find this and uh, once you have done you just simply go to right and hit on flash and you see your you found this at mega 32 chip and just writing your flash memory and then uh, your programming is done your flash verification has been done the resistors first and uh, connect it to the pin number one of the microcontroller as like before nothing special in it and hook up your LED and make sure your anode and the cathode so you hook up your LED and now you need to add in button switch so in programming we have to, we have already written a code where we have set the pin number 2 to the pin number 2 which is the PB1 of the microcontroller to give it to the input to the microcontroller so let's take the pin number 2 and take it into the other part of the breadboard so once you take the connection of pin number 2 to the other part of uh, the breadboard i just take a little bit aside of it and then take your button switch and make sure it's continuity and then add it to the breadboard I hope that it works fine and then take a ground pin of the switch and put into the ground so if you are not sure with the connection don't worry in user guide you will see all uh, relevant circuit diagram how we have hooked up here an LED and the button switch so don't worry if you are not uh, quite sure what is happening here I recommend you to go and walk through this uh, user guide and then what we need is we need to connect uh, programmer so first we have to switch off the power supply and then hook up our programmer and switch on the power supply so that's all we need to do for this uh, tutorial and now this is the time to flash our hex file into the microcontroller and see how it works so let's go to the extreme burner so here is our extreme burner and make sure that you have the right chip selected 80 mega 32 32 and 32a is the same so 32a go to file and click on open flash 
and as we know that on desktop we have button this folder and in this folder we have this button disk.hex file so open this hex file into the flash and then click on write and hit on flash so once you have done with uh, uploading your hex file into the microcontroller let's come back to the breadboard and you see now the LED which is connected to the pin number 1 of the microcontroller is blinking with 1000 milliseconds that means a 1 second of delay and if we press the button switch we will see that the LED blinking will be fast I hope you can see that the blinking of an LED which is a quite fast which is 100 milliseconds and if I release this button, you see it's again started blinking with one second. So here in this application, we have seen how we can give uh, human inputs through the button to the LED to control the LED. And I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining and see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.